Hello my lovelies! Welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs B, your Catholic art teacher. Last week, boys and girls, we did this lovely drawing of Yoki, our leghorn rooster. And boys and girls, I haven't I saw some of your work. I was really impressed, Sajid, um, and the rest of you all. I mean I saw quite a few you all shared with me, but I guess Sajid's own resonates in my mind. And I'd love to see the rest of yours. And boys and girls, it would be um, wonderful. Just keep in mind our aim of having a virtual exhibition at the end of the school year. So uh, today, boys and girls, we're going to be doing... Uh, beautiful image we're going to paint a beautiful landscape painting of the berry lake which is situated in loda and boys and girls let's get started so first of all you have your paper landscape not portrait landscape and we're going to decide where our line is going to form so I'm going to um, uh, have my my horizontal line. That's where land meets the lake. So we're going to have the lake more or less here. And we're going to have Dominica is so blessed with so many greeneries, forests, woodland plants. And so we're going to have it. But we're going to have some of the sky showing. And the berry lake is so big, I wouldn't be able to fit it in there. So it's going to be just a part of the berry lake. So let's get started, boys and girls. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to get a wide paintbrush like this. And we're going to get some white, some white paint. And we're going to... Um, Add it in our palette like this and we have to work very quickly so boys and girls I'm going to begin so you wet your paint your paintbrush you you grab some of that white like this and I'm going to put it on uh, along the center where the lake uh meets the the tr the tree the shrubbery so we're going to just put a line going across and it's going to be white a thick white coke like that it's going to go all the way across it doesn't have to be ultra straight but the straighter that you can do it the better add some more white because we want it to be really white okay so what we're going to do, and we're going to add um, some green to our paintbrush. So we're going to get some green um, here. We're going to wet here with some green like that. I should have, anyway, just add some more green, boys and girls. And we're going to add green on both sides to show reflective light. So we're going to add green here like that. And then at the top, we're going to do it on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing, wet my paintbrush. And then add some, I'm going to add some more of that. The, I left the white in my paintbrush. That's perfectly fine because you want it to be blended. You know, you want it to blend. So you're going to go along this side of your paper like that, leaving a thin line of white. And you can go all the way down. Oops, got some. It doesn't matter. And then we're just going to do that on the top part as well. We're going to go and get some more paint. This time it's going to be a darker shade of green. So let's make some darker green. So we're going to add some blue 
and we're going to add some yellow remember the colors and uh, we're going to add some darker shade of blue of green so we're going to mix this up like that all right boys and girls and then we're going to add it at the top like that so we're just going to go from side to side like that we're going to do it like that and then we're going to do it one more time take some more and we're going to add it down below like this all right so we're going to uh, rinse out our paintbrush and make sure that the that we have you can um, just put some just mix it up just try to mix the two colors together by adding the light green to the dark green so that it makes a lovely blend and then you wet your paintbrush and then you're just going to paint the middle like that so that it will meet at the middle good and then you're going to leave it to dry and then we'll come back we need to add blue to the edges here as well because of the sky the reflective nature of the sky so i'm going to go ahead and add some blue to the top of our green oops we need a bit more blue that okay boys and girls we're just going to mix that up all right and then we're going to add it to the top half of the for the reflective side of the sun of the sky sorry so we're just going to do that and then that has to show down here. So we're going to do the same thing. We have, because the lake is so big, it's going to show some reflective part of the sky. Then we're going to go back, take some green. Let me just wet the brush again. And we're going to take some green again, just to go over this area. Okay. Oops. So there we have it, nice and dried. So we're going to now add the the um, foliage, foliage around the lake. So all the trees and uh, shrubs and whatever it is all around the lake. I'm going to draw this now. So we're going to first of all mix our colors. We need to get a shade of green. So we have the remnants of green there. Uh, let me just uh, uh, make some green. So we have that. Maybe need a little bit more than that, you know, because it's going to be a shade of that. And then we need some yellow. It's going to be quite dark, so I'm going to make it just one drop of. So it's going to be opposite. Usually I put two drops of yellow to one drop of blue. This time it's two drops of blue to um, one drop of yellow and so this is quite dark but I still want it darker because we are going to be doing the a silhouette a silhouette of the of um, Berry Lake so let me go and get my black paint and I'm going to add some to the corner Let's move this painting a little bit this way so that you can see when I add the black like that and then I'm going to add it um, right now so I have um, the green and I'm going to add some green to black like that so we're going to have a quite a dark silhouette so it's going to be a dark green boys and girls so I think that that would be enough. And I, f um, I feel like I need a little bit more of the um, of the green. So I'm going to wash my paintbrush from the black 
to scoop out a little bit more and to mix it with this to make it uh, it's still dark but you can see more green in it so I think that will do I'm going to now scrape my paintbrush so that I can get a smaller paintbrush for the detail so it's my nice trusty fine uh, paintbrush and I'm going to draw a line going across here so it's like almost like a, a semicircle an arch we're not going to make it too steep so let's just just try that now with our black uh, our green shade of green we're going to do that going like this all right and then around it, we're going to have, it's just covered with mountains of greenery. So we're going to fill that up, boys and girls. And then when I'm finished, I will share with you, um, because what I'm going to do as well, boys and girls, I am going to show a reflective light that I, the, 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 the mount, the trees and stuff is going to show a reflection in the lake. So we're going to do the same um, shape, but it's going to be a reflection. So we're going to do that and we're going to have the same reflection growing across like that the same shape so I'm going to do this on, in real time and then I'll get back to you when I am um, complete like that boys and girls but what I just want to uh, fix this up a little bit because as it gets uh, closer to me I should lighten it up a little bit so I'm going to just lighten these edges like that and use a rag and just to mop it up you know to, just to show um the 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 sea the lake is very light and and, and it doesn't have um it has a lot of reflection as opposed to it's um so i'm just gonna add my cloth on it and then yeah just leave it like that on top of that good so it's giving me what I'm looking for um, and what we're going to do as well boys and girls we're going to um, add the the lake the ripples in the lake so we're going to have some dark blues over here. So we're going to uh, just gonna add some ripples like that. That's just going along. And as you get closer to the actual um, shrubs, the, the greenery, um, the distance between them gets more narrow. And so we're going to use another green here and just set that green here and we're gonna go like that just go a little bit in like that as we get closer to the um to the edge of the lake it gets the ripples get closer and closer I'm just going to lighten up my, just going to add a little bit of water to that, that mixture, so that I can do the lighter parts like that. Okay. Actually, we can even do it through the, um, so we can just put some of the green in, actually, in the actual uh, shadows of the so I'm going to add a little bit like that and then we're going to add some to the sh to the shadow of the green greenery like that. 
careful not to drag it into the because it will make it darken it a little bit and I'm going to add some white now to that area there and I'll just pour some white in here the ripples of the lake. Try to make it as fine as you can. You can go to echo the ripples of, this, of the lake, sorry. Okay, like that. And I want this to be quite distinct. Okay, you can add a bit more um, it's okay like that, I think. Okay. Oops. All right. And then we can add, when we look up in the sky, sometimes the sky is clear, sometimes it has little stars dazzling. So we can just draw some little stars. Dazzling in the night sky. You can even, I invite you to add glitter if you wish, just to add shimmer to the, the lake. Um, the white will be suffice, the white stars will be suffice. You don't have to add glitter to the sky. You want to add the glimmer to the lake itself. Okay. All right, behind you can see some of the, I want to add a little bit of white here, some places to show that um, there is gaps to see the night sky and the greenery all the trees, the forests, the rainforest. Okay, I think I'm completed with that. So we're going to leave it to dry and then we're going to add some finishing touches, boys and girls. So there it is, boys and girls. I decided that I re-studied the photograph of the berry lake that I had and I didn't see the, the night sky piercing through the woods because it's very densely and it's very thick. And so therefore, I just the reflections of the mountains will be depicted in the lake. And so that's what I, I did, boys and girls. So I'm going to add some glitter. I would have preferred silver, but I have this color. Um, I think I have white, but I'm going to look and see. Um, I may add this and white to the, the sea, the lake, to see how it looks. There you have it, boys and girls. The Berry Lake. And it's a silhouette of the Berry Lake. And you can say that the sky was lit up like the northern lights. I'm just trying to create a beautiful color uh, composition. And by it's just like as if uh, the northern lights came to Dominica and has lit up the sky and the reflection in the lake causes it to be absolutely breathtaking. So as you can see the glitter in this piece, you can see the northern lights as it glitters in the berry lake. 
And that's the, what I'm trying to create in this painting, boys and girls. Northern lights, beautiful sky, and the colors reflecting, the colors in the sky reflecting in the Berry Lake. Boys and girls, I'm going to do a very quick um, silhouette of the crucifixion of Jesus on the cross. So I'm going to add yellow, I'm going to add white, I'm going to add, hmm, we have red, we have orange there. So let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and take my white, my brown brush, and I'm going to create um, a circle right here at the center, like that. Just circle like that in white. And then around it, boys and girls, I'm going to take a little bit of that yellow. I'm not even going to mix it and just it just took a blob off like that and then we're going to go around and around and around that's what we're going to do boys and girls going around and around and around and um, I'm going to rinse my paintbrush and I'm going to get I think I'd like to use the the, the thick brush and I'm going to add a, a little bit of yellow and creating a reflection, a reflective light. And then we're going to continue with this in the night sky. I'm going to get some orange. I am. And I'm going to complete this with orange. Oh, that's not bright enough. I need a better. Um, oops. Let's just try to take that piece off now. Um, I'll just add some more water to it. And then let's just try that now. That's better. We can do some reds on the and the um to do that just mix it up like that so that it gets like that close to the center and then I want to get some red which I can get some red and just put another layer of that orange again boys and girls a bit more orange some water to the oranges I have already here and then we're going to go a bit darker like that and I think I'm going to actually add red so I'm just going to take some red here like that oops that's not showing too much I thought that it would all right I'm going to use the red like that Red here and the red there. I'm just going to go around it like that. So we're just going to make a spiral. And then we're going to dry it. And then I'll get back to you boys and girls. And boys and girls. There it is. Nicely dried. And I'm going to go ahead. And just paint in. Uh, freehand. The crucifix. Where Jesus died on the cross. So I'm going to drop in some black paint, as you can see, and I'm going to get a fine paintbrush. I'll use this one. It's too fine. I'll use this one. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'll, I'll use both of these. And I'm going to go ahead with the um, cross. So. We're going to have it going all the way here. First of all, let me just draw uh, something like that looks like a mountain. 
because it's actually Golgotha on top of that mountain. So I'm just going to fill that up with the black. Here for you to see. Okay, I'm gonna need some more black paint. Open doors. Okay, so there we go. I'm just gonna fill it up there with this paintbrush. It'll be much easier, it'll cover more, and I'll be able to do this in a jiffy. And then what I'm going to do freehand, I'm going to draw or paint the crucifix, the cross, where Jesus, where they nailed Jesus to the cross on top of that hill, which he had to carry. I know we are not quite in the Lenten season, but boys and girls, every day we must... Uh, remember what Jesus did for us and so I'm just going to draw this figure this cross there I think I'm going to get some more black again one more and that should be it all right that should be it I'm going to use this paintbrush to try to draw a straight line. I hope so. I'm going to hold this down and draw a line going down all the way down like this. Good. Do another one. I'm just going to make this line more straight and not wiggly. Well, it makes it more organic anyway, like I said. Nobody's perfect, so there you go. Right? And then we're going to draw a line going across. I'm going to do the cross just here like that. Just a cross like that. Let's just make this look like a cross. Boop. And then bring that going across that way. And uh, oops. Not that I want to turn the cross upside down, but I'm just trying to get it looking uh, equal. Um, yeah, we just turn it to the side. Don't like to have the cross upside down. And we're just going to do it the same way across like that. Okay, boys and girls. We have that like that. And then we're going to draw Jesus' hand. I'm going to use his hand going to be like that, coming down like that. That's his hand. It's been nailed to the cross, but you can only see the silhouette of his hand and then his body. And so he's going to have his body coming there and this body, this hand going like that. Right. And then you have his legs coming out like that, perhaps, and then there could be uh, a twist of his body, and his feet is down here. So that's, I think that that's a good representation with his head slouched down, so you have a bit of his head like that. 
And boys and girls, at the top of him, they stuck uh, uh, something to label him, King of the Jews. So it's going to be right across here, I-N-R-I. -I, but we're not going to see that detail because it's a silhouette. So it's the... They called him the King of the Jews. And there you have it, boys and girls. You can choose if you want to do the Berry Lake one. Or this one's a little more simpler. Jesus, a silhouette of Jesus in the sunset um, setting as he uh, died on the cross on Good Friday. So boys and girls, there you go. I can't wait to see your work, boys and girls. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video and I can't wait to see which one you chose to do. Bye.